Disclaimer, all events, people, and some places in this video are fictitious. In other words, I made this stuff up. None of it really happened. It is for entertainment purposes only. Thank you and enjoy the video. Almost everyone has crushes and is fantasized about one day finally actually talking to them. But what happens when those fantasies leave the shower? Hello, beautiful people of the internet, I'm Mothman, and welcome back to They Make Monsters, where we tell the stories the media is too afraid to. Today, we're going to be looking at the horrid case of Alice Bion. But before we do, I think it's good to have goals in life. So I've set a goal of getting 1,000 subscribers by the end of June, Pride Month. And I know that's a lot, and a short period of time, but I believe in us. So if you could please subscribe if you haven't already. Also share my channel with friends, family, your boss, someone you just met, or your dog. It would really help me out, thus helping me make better videos. Also, like the video and comment down below your best fanfiction about yourself. Best comments will be shown to my dad, so make him proud. The best comment from my last video was... Thank you. Uh, this is actually my childhood friend making a reference to a book I wrote when I was 13. So, also screw you for making me remember that. Anyway, with all that out of the way, let's get into it. One cool May evening in 2014, Alice was getting gas right outside of Hart, Michigan. But this would be her last time paying $4 a gallon, and she would become one of the most terrifying true crime cases. But what led up to this event, and how did it unfold? Well, let's start with Alice. Alice grew up just outside of St. Louis, Missouri. Eventually, she relocated to Michigan to pursue a degree in engineering at the University of Michigan. She would go on to become a flight engineer, where she met her partner, Anne Bailez, who was working at the airport while trying to find a teaching job. The two fell madly in love and decided to settle down in Hart, Michigan, and had a child together. Alice also blogged about her life as a flight engineer and mother. However, this would give her some unwanted attention. <laughs> One fateful day, Keanu Bridges stumbled upon Alice's blog. Keanu was a 31-year-old man who lived in his mother's basement. Keanu was a self-proclaimed incel. Incels are an online community of men who believe that women are a hive mind and because of this they cannot attract any women romantically or sexually. However, one night while scrolling, Keanu found Alice's blog. He became obsessed and partially gave up his views to pursue her. But his obsession would soon turn deadly. <laughs> From Alice's blog, Keanu learned her email address and social media accounts. Keanu made a special profile on Facebook just to talk to her, and began messaging her confessions of his love for her. The first few messages read, Hi, I stutter. It takes all my strength to talk to a real Japanese woman. What do I say? Does my voice sound weird? My palms start sweating. I clench my fist and blurt out another sentence. My name's Keanu. I saw your blog, and I thought you were really pretty. I freeze. Did I really just say that? Hi, Keanu. I'm glad you liked my blog. I squeal with excitement at your acknowledgement. Yes. I pump my fist in the air like Mario. You notice the huge bulge in my pants, which I am slightly embarrassed of. I take a second to collect myself, but it's so hard when my future waifu says my name. Um, yeah, I liked it. I just think you're beautiful. I drool a little, then I tense up, thinking about what I was going to say next. Is it too soon to ask? Is it too risky? 
What if she says no? Would this amazing woman really want to be with a sad guy like me? I can't let these fears distract me from my mission. Um, can I ask you a question? Um, sure. I take a deep breath and step closer to you. We're almost touching, but we both like it. Do you want to be my waifu? No. Please? No. Another set of messages reads, How dare you? I've been nothing but nice to you. My voice gets deeper as I start to transform, but I keep it in because I don't want to hurt you, and you couldn't handle my true form. You're making me mad, and you don't want to see me when I'm mad. Oh, the silent treatment. You're really pushing my limits now. I'm holding back my rage and tears. I can't believe you would do this. Japanese women are supposed to submit to men. They haven't been poisoned by Western feminism and know that men are superior. In Japan, women don't ignore guys who are just trying to be nice to them. They say yes to their questions because they know we don't ask for much. Japanese women are the only true feminine women left in the world. That's why Japanese women are the best race of women. I hope you now see how you're supposed to act. I'm Thai. No. Keanu sent Alice a total of 1,824 messages before he was blocked. Alice actually thought the messages were quite funny and showed them to Anne for a laugh. Meanwhile, Keanu was enraged and resorted to other means of communication. Over the next few weeks, Keanu sent Alice many, many emails. These emails would often have audio clips attached to them, one of which I will play for you now. How oh, dare you treat me like this? All I want to do is be nice to you and treat you as a woman should be treated. <laughs> In return, all you have to do is be my perfect waifu. <laughs> I don't ask for much! You're being such a... I hold in my burning rage, for your sake. But it's so hard when you're ignoring me. I can barely control myself. It takes every bone in my body not to lash out and kill you where you stand. But I see you shaking, and I know I must resist. Listen, you're making me very angry right now. And you don't want to see me when I'm angry, sweetheart. Really bad things happen when I'm angry. If you would just answer my messages, we could talk about this. And maybe, maybe I'll forgive you for doing this to me. As I think about all the terrible things you've done. It fills me with such, such rage. The veins of my huge muscles are twitching. It feels as if my eyes are turning red and sinking into my face. I'm just filled with so much rage. I can't hold it in anymore. You see a huge flash of light as I transform into my Super Saiyan form. You can barely recognize me. I'm twice my human size. But my muscles and the bulges in my pants are four times as big. My eyes are completely red. My hair is up in a giant spike. My voice is super deep in metal. Look what you've made me do! This, and 57 similar messages, were sent until Alice blocked Keanu's email. At this point, she began to worry. She informed the police of these messages. However, police didn't deem Keanu dangerous enough to do anything. Meanwhile, Keanu was furious. He couldn't believe that Alice had blocked him twice. So he got her address from a friend and started following her to and from work. Because she never saw any pictures of Keanu, 
She didn't know what he looked like, and didn't notice him following her. A fatal mistake that would be her last. <laughs> On May 13th, 2014, Alice was getting gas just outside of town when Keanu came in out of nowhere and shot her in the chest with a 44mm pistol. Then, he dragged her body into his car and brought her to his home. There, he placed her body in a chair next to his and used it as a player two for his video game. However, after Alice didn't come home that night, Anne reported her missing. Police launched a search. Luckily, because they had been shown Keanu's messages to Alice, he immediately became their number one suspect. So, while Keanu was playing Valorant with Alice, police burst through the door. They were so shocked by what they found, they gasped, audibly. Police arrested Keanu and returned to Anne with the bad news. Anne was partially glad that they had caught him, but also very angry that Alice's death could have been prevented if the police had arrested Keanu after the emails. But whatever the case, Keanu had now been arrested and was brought to court. <laughs> On June 23, 2015, Keanu was brought to trial. He was charged with first-degree murder and abuse of a corpse. He pled innocent to both charges. However, after being presented with all the evidence, the jury ruled unanimously that he was guilty. He was sentenced to life in prison without bail or the possibility of parole. Anne would go on to support her and Alice's child, Tyler, who is now 13. According to an interview, the both of them are doing very well, despite this tragedy. And thus ends the case of Alice Beyond. Again, make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and always remember, no means no, no matter how nice you are. This has been Mothman, They Make Monsters. Thanks for watching, and have an amazing day.